zurück zu Genjin Impact. Ich bin hier kurz mal in den Statue der Sieben stehen geblieben, weil ich nämlich von uns hier äh, täglichen Auftrag in Inazuma abgeschlossen habe. Nun gehen wir jetzt gleich mal zu, äh, muss man wieder zu Gandava zurück. Das ist eine ganz brandneue Welt. Aber was ist das denn für, was sind das für Dinger? Bist du freundlich oder feindlich? Okay, der schläft. Ja, der schläft gerade. Ja, und da ist einer. Okay, lassen wir mal in Ruhe. Ah, und da ist ja einer der neuen, und zwar den Dentrokolos. Den sammeln wir das auch ein. Dentrokolos, richtig, jawohl. Nun, Aussichtspunkt. Aha, nice. Dann gehen wir mal. You've returned. Yep, we're back. Uh, have you seen Kale by any chance? Oh, Kale? Yes, I saw her go into her room just a moment ago. Oh, okay. Guess we'll just have to wait and talk to her tomorrow then. Uh, okay. Warte um 8 Uhr am nächsten Tag. Okay, 21 Uhr ist es. Dann gehen wir gleich mal auf 8.06 Uhr. Hä, was ist das da hinten? Ich weiß nicht ganz genau. Paimon war denken, all night about what happened with Kale. Und still can't figure out what the problem might be. Maybe she's in a better mood now. Let's go check on her. Ich weiß es nicht, was da hinten war, aber wir wir werden da später herausfinden. Just about to go look for you. Huh? Kainari, what are you doing here? Where I came to check on Kale's condition. To put it simply, she's not well. Oh. You mean she's sick? How could she be? Oh, wait a minute. Could it be because of what Paimon did yesterday? No, no need to worry. <laughs> something as small as you could never harm her. Uh, this sickness is something that Kale has been dealing with for some time. Kale has been more excited than usual since you two arrived. A little too much so, to be honest. She hasn't remembered to take care of herself. <sighs> I suppose it's understandable, though. She hasn't been around anyone she considered a friend for some time now. It must have been refreshing for her to have you two here. So, Tainari, what's really wrong with Kale? Um, let's take this conversation elsewhere. Kale just fell asleep after taking her medicine. She needs some peace and quiet. Oh, okay. Geht zu reden an einen anderen Ort. Hm, wahrscheinlich hat die eine seltene Krankheit, was, was Kolai hat. All right, let's continue our conversation here, shall we? To be honest, I hadn't realized that you're that honorary knight from Mondstadt until Kale told me just now. I've also heard all about your deeds in Liyue and Inazuma. So, just to clarify, What I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because... Well, because Kale asked me to. And honestly speaking, I was against Kale revealing her past to you. But she insisted. 
saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. So now she wishes to reciprocate the gesture. So Tainari, what exactly is wrong with Kale? You said this is something she's been dealing with for some time. Just how serious is it? Right. Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. Elazar? Okay. Das ist eine Krankheit? Das hätte ich nie gedacht. Elazar? Yes. It's a disease unique to the lands of hardened scales that form on the body. Okay. At first, the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on the affected area of the skin. However, as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Taubheitsgefühl und Gefühlsstörung. Oh, wow. In its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body and they effectively become completely immobile. That sounds terrifying. Verliert die Kontrolle über seinen eigenen Körper, über seinen eigenen Körper? Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little clumsy earlier, it was because... Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything, lest she ends up hurting herself. Ist diese Krankheit heilbar? With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. However, there is unfortunately still no true cure for Elazar. Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hoped that there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization known as the Fatui after one of their members lied and said they had a cure. Wieder mal mit Fatuis. What? The Fatui? Ah. It appears you are already familiar with them. That'll save me some explanation. Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known as the Doctor. I have no idea how this Doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. However, Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful, but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Even now, she can still feel deathly afraid of someone touching her. Oh, Paimon had no idea Kale's been through so much suffering. Oh, by the way, Paimon, Kale wanted me to tell you that she's sorry for scaring you yesterday. She also wanted both of you to know that she's sorry for hiding her illness. She doesn't need to apologize. None of this is her fault at all. Well said. I hope you'll get a chance to tell her that in person the next time you see her. Kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships. I trust that you two will never let my trainee experience such emotional pain again. Don't worry, Tainari. We'll take good care of her. Wie ist Kolais Zustand jetzt? Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led to her breakdown this time. As long as she has taken her medicine and gets plenty of rest, she should get better. Though, I must admit that Kale's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gandarvaville. She was interested in the work of the forest rangers the moment she saw us. I could see that she was serious about learning, so I felt compelled to ask her to join us. Her stamina has gotten much worse recently. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long-distance patrols are a little too much for her now. <sighs> All right. Now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her medicine. I'll see you two later. Können wir auch mitkommen? Yeah, we'd like to do something to help Kale too. All right, but I must warn you two. The rainforest is a dangerous place, especially for someone who's still recovering like the traveler. You must No problemo. Let's go then. We'll be looking for a plant known as lunar lotus. It's often used to help those afflicted with Elazar recover their energy. Uh-huh. Hey, Tainari? Where exactly are we going to find this plant? 
Lunar lotus can be found all over the rainforest, but it often grows right here around Gundarvaville. Hmm. Given the name, it sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. You are correct. Lunar lotus grows in the water. When fully matured, they look like giant blue flowers floating on the water's surface. Quite an attractive species, if you ask me. The large petals are actually the plant's leaves and sepals, which surround a very small flower. You should note that many of the plants found in Sumeru have names that are contrary to their species. Take the Kalpalata, for example. The plant is not a lotus at all, but rather a vine. And then there's the Sumeru Rose, which is not a rose, completely contrary to its name. Oh! Huh. Um... Okay, then. Okay, wir müssen hier die Heilkräuter finden, aber hier sind auch wieder haufenweise Gegner. Adgama Holz? What? Und die Pilze kenne ich schon aus der aus dem großen Kluft. Also, das ist ja. Das sind, das sind ja der ganz bekannten, also bekannten Wasserpilze. There should be lunar lotuses growing somewhere in this area. Let's split up and begin searching. If you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. We'll rendezvous here once you've gathered the needed amount. Okay. Sammle frischen Nilotpala Lotus in der Umgebung. Aha. Ach so, das sind die Lotus. Aber wahrscheinlich braucht man hier für Kolai, um dafür hier zu erweitern. So, da bin ich wieder. Hey Tainari, we found the lotuses you requested. Let me take a look. Hmm. Good, very good. These are all excellent quality. I'm quite glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of time here. It seems we even have enough time to stock up on some other things I need. Hey, Tainari! Oh, Tainari! Someone's calling your name! Ah yes, that's Amir and the others. But didn't they just set off not too long ago? What are they- Let's go find out what's going on. Okay, dann fragen wir mal nach. Tainari, thank goodness we found you here. We were just about to head back and find you at Gandarvaville. What's going on? We just discovered a withering zone. The withering is back? But the patrol route you were on should have been already clear just a week ago. Can you tell me the exact location? It's up ahead, deep in the river valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area. So we decided to come find you as quickly as possible. And the radius of the contamination? Sorry, I couldn't get a clear enough view to tell. No one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading. So we didn't risk getting any closer. Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. Hmm, I'll go deal with it right away. In the meantime, please guide these two back to Gundarvaville. Wait, Tainari, why don't you let us help you? You two have only just arrived in Sumeru. You're still unfamiliar with many things in these lands. There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru rainforest. It's called the withering. The affected areas not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal to wildlife and even people. If you don't carry a vision, then you should think twice before approaching such places. Ah, okay, das sind die verdorrten Pflanzen, die Verwalkung. Yes, Amir is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding when I said the rainforest is a dangerous place. As Amir said, only someone with a vision, 
that is, the power to manipulate elements, will be able to resist the withering's corrosive effects for a time. That's right. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with the proper abilities deal with it, like Tainari here. Only someone with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it. Kann auch, ich kann auch Elementarkräfte einsetzen. But you don't seem to carry a vision. Don't worry, he may not have a vision, but he's a real pro at using the power of the elements. Hmm, it seems the rumors about you are true. In that case, all right, you two may accompany me. We typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gundarvaville. We'll make an exception today. Geh in die Verwelkung. Okay, da Verwelkung ist da vorne. Die auch für Menschen und Tiere das Leben kosten, wenn sie schmutzig werden. Stop. Don't move any further. Look there in the distance. Huh? Where? Oh, look! Those plants have withered. That whole area is kind of gloomy. Even the air looks like it's filled with ash. Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of this. That is the withering. All right, Traveler. We're going to have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call tumors of the withering. If we eliminate those, then the area will be saved. Ich komme mit. Thank you. But I must warn you, don't push yourself. This is your first time handling this sort of thing, after all. Even with elemental powers, once you step inside the withering zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. If at any point it becomes too much, return outside of the zone and take a breather. It could... You ready then? Let's go. First, we must locate any branches sustaining the withering zone. Also, das klingt ein bisschen beängstigend und beängstigend, beängstigend. Sam da war irgendwas mit Sammeln. Was ist das mal daneben? Äh, warte mal. Ah, ah, okay, verstehe. Okay, ich hab's verstanden. Ah, verstehe. Aua. Aua. Kraft. Müssen unbedingt die Verwelkung verhindern. Aua. Ah, Mist. Jetzt ist er weg. Die Verwelkung ist gar nicht gut. Okay, wo haben wir das? Wo haben wir die dritte? Ach da. Dann drauf. Great work. Now that all the branches have been cleared, we'll need to take care of the tumor. Neue Monster. Illusion shattered. Da scheint ein neuer Pilzform zu sein. Ich 
Elementarreaktion. So, das hat man ja auch noch dazu besiegen. Beseitigen wir mal. Okay. Yes, thanks to you two. We were able to quickly restore this area back to normal. Um, Tainari? You make it sound like we did well, but why does Diamond have the feeling you're worried about something? It's that obvious, huh? Recently, the rate at which the withering zone appears has been increasing. Even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. If that simply meant more work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. Uh oh. Huh? Well, why is that? I'm still not sure of the exact reason. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. Gibt es nicht eine Möglichkeit, die Ver diese Verwelkung endgültig loszuwerden? No, none that we know of. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. By the way, have you heard of Ermensol before? Nein, habe ich nicht. Ermensol is a tree located deep beneath the surface. Although it isn't like any tree we know in a biological sense. You can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? They're like the roots of Ermensol, spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground all the way up to the surface. Die Erde durchzieht riesiger Hohlraum. Das sieht ein wenig so aus, was was ich sah, als ich das Bewusstsein verlor. Ley lines continually absorb the memories of this world, which are then funneled into Ermin's soul, allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. It is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermin's soul. And as for the withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. Irmin Sol ist krank? That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devata's familiars a long time ago. But even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Irmin Sol. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time until a cure is found. All right, that's enough on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Gandarvaville. Okay. Also war das hier von den letzten Part hier dieser großer Baum da? Das wusste ich überhaupt nicht. Oh, die Musik, die Musik ist so schön. Freie Wildnis. Und weitere. Oh, was ist das denn? Okay, da kann man nicht kaputt machen. Das wäre dann zu schade für die Pflanzen. Hallo, oh, was ist das denn? Habe ich auch noch nie gesehen. Wow! 
Springpilze. Alter Schwede. Wir sehen auch Pilze in den Regenwäldern. Das ist nice. Grantava. Oh, Tainari, you all made it back. How did it go? The withering zone you reported has been taken care of. No need. Huh. Wait, is that? Ah, ein Dämmersegler. Oh no, Hapasia. Hapasia? Huh? What's wrong, Tainari? This duskbird is Hapasia's designated courier for urgent news. You do remember her, don't you? She's the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Oh, her? How could we forget? Let me see what's written in the letter first. Hmm. So what's it say? And what's with that weird expression on your face? Uh, just let Paimon read it. Huh? Uh, all Paimon sees are three squiggly lines. <sighs> yes, allow me to explain. After we brought you from Hapasia's cave to Gundarvaville, Hapasia resumed her meditation. She must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat. And it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. This letter is her asking us for help. We what? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Hey, wait, how did you know all that from just a few lines on the paper? Well, obviously because this has happened before. Last time she drew five lines. And by the time we found her... <clears throat> well, I prefer not to remember that. Needless to say, Hapasia's been through worse, but we should still get to her as quickly as possible. I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Paimon, Traveler, could you two bring these to her? Wait, you want us to bring her the rations? Uh, but will the Traveler be okay if her cave is still filled with that funny incense? Let's find out. Here. Traveler, take a smell and see. So, how do you feel? Es ist ein sehr, einen sehr frischen Duft. Huh? Really? You're not feeling even a little drowsy? But wait, how'd you know that he'd be okay this time, Tainari? Back when we were clearing the withering zone, I observed that he could adeptly manipulate the dendro element. I knew then that he would be fine. And if I may ask, when I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw while you were unconscious? Was ich gesehen habe, war gar, gar keine Halluzin Halluzination, oder? Halluzinations at all. Though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tevat. My forefathers were shown much favor by greater lord Ruka Devata. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence, and I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. Was genau habe ich denn vorhin gesehen? When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Ermansoul. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Ermansoul itself. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit borneol are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermansoul, just as you did. Ah, uh, that sounds nice and all, but will she really help us? Seriously, she completely ignored us the last time we tried talking to her. That was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. During that time, she must avoid communicating with others. Please, wait here for a moment. <laughs> Here. 
take these. It's a meal I packed for Hypatia, as well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Also, here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her and she'll answer any questions you may have. Ich danke dir. No. I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. Hypatia should still be in the cave. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. Also, also, welch bei dieser Vogel hier, was ich gesehen habe, das sah so fast so aus wie ein Flugsaurier, aber es ist aber Wirklichkeit ein Vogel. Also er hat gesagt, wie so eine Mischung aus äh, Anuru Knatus und Archeo Op. Oh nein. Das ist diese gleiche Gegend, wo ich dort umgestürzt bin, also in Ohnmacht. Sorry, ich musste kurz mal hier, weil ich wusste gar nicht, dass, weil, weil ich wollte hier gerade hier Video machen und da, da kam dann plötzlich die, äh, die, was, was Paimon sagte und dann urplötzlich habe ich das aus Versehen. Es unterbrochen. Es tut mir leid, Freunde. Der Hüpfpilz in der Sphäre. Aha, in Sumarus Sphären sind manchmal diese Hüpfpilze anzutreffen. Aus unerklärten und wohl sehr faszinierenden Gründen gehört diese Pilze jedoch nicht zu Trilakshana-Kreaturen. Okay. Ja, die Gegend hier, also diese Gegend hier ist so wunderschön. Versuche die spezielle Höhle zu erreichen. Ja, ich versuche es ja. Es ist ja riesengroß. Hab bloß Glück, dass es diese Zeichen daraus gibt. Was ist jetzt los? Durchsuche den schlichten Raum. Hä? Hä? Das sieht aus wie, wie die aus, ist aus Inazuma. Ich bin jetzt sprachlos. What? Schon wieder? Ah, okay, wir sind wieder in der Baumhöhle. Der Ur Ur und der Urbernstein in der, in der Sphäre. Manchmal sind Urbernsteine und der Pfad, in diesen, die, an den diese Bernsteine versiegelt haben. In den Sphären, um Sumeru zu treffen, sammle drei Urbernsteine, um diesen Sphäre in den un äh, entsprechenden Pfad zu öffnen. Aha, okay.
Mann, du sollst springen. Ach so, hier soll ich lang. Ach, hier die schon wieder. Reaktion. Und weg damit. Was, hier kommen noch mehr? So, jetzt äh, geöffnet und was ist das denn? Oh, das ist ja süß! Das ist wie eine Elfe! Das ist ja süß! Ah, wieder ein Bernstein. Was war das da? Oh! Wow! Alter! Das war so eine Fruchtgranate. Ähm. Warte mal. Ach so, hier ist so ein Ding hier, wo man sich festkrallen kann. Okay, also geht's hier weiter. Alter! Was ist jetzt schon wieder los? Oder suche den Hof tiefen Korridor. Oh, schon wieder hier. Ah, okay, 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 ich verstehe. Verstehe. Jetzt war ich erschrocken. Geh zur oberen Plattform. Wo Wer ist das denn? Okay, jetzt. 
Das ist der, das ist der Abgrundbote, den wir schon im Livestream besiegt haben. Und jetzt versucht er erneut Ärger zu kriegen. Alter, der ist schon fast die Down. Okay, jetzt macht er seine Phase. Aua. Hä? Wieso nimmt er da keinen Schaden? Dies wird nicht mein Ende sein. Your sister. <lacht> oh, pitiful traveler. Are you really so ignorant? Or are you just living in complete denial? Her Highness has long since forsaken you. Your meager existence in her eyes is that of an annoying bug, only to be stepped upon. The bonds of love and family which drive you to find your sibling are utterly gone. Your journey is meaningless. But don't you fret now. Today will be your last. Now die! What the hell? Was geschieht denn jetzt? Seltsam, was ist gerade passiert? Ein Moment lang, wie es immer wie in meinem Traum. Aber ich kann mich nicht mehr daran erinnern, wo es, worum es ging. Hm. Was tun wir? Wir haben sie nicht Hapatia anywhere out here. Quick, let's see, wie sie es macht. Ah, so süß. Hm. Well, the good news is that she's still conscious. Hey, why did you drop her food on the floor like that? Ich muss wohl in Gedanken gesunken sein. Uh, are you okay? That's really not like you. Anyways, we can talk about this later. We better make sure she's all right first. Whoa, wait a sec. Look at all this fruit lying around her. Uh, who is there? Tainari, is that you? Uh. Huh? It's okay. You can relax, Hapatia. Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. I 
I see. So, you're friends of Tainari. I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. You even brought all this fruit. Uh, well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we arrived. We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, there was all this fruit lying around and even some juice dripping from your lips. Oh, really? Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh, neighbor. Must have come by and saw me like this. Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? Es ist ein kleines, rundes Wesen. Oh? So you're able to see them too? Wait, hold on a second, Traveler. You say that before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? No, I actually do believe what the Traveler is saying. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. You needn't worry. They mean you no harm. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. So, Hypatia, just what kind of creature is your neighbor exactly? I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. I know this because the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Even after I opened my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding, and my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the opening of the cave. In my curiosity, I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. It wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Oh! And then? And then, I had a dream. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But, sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later, and they weren't alone. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them, but I never would have expected them to save me. Das ist wirklich ein guter Nachbar. Yes, no doubt about that. By the way, Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermensoul. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier... <sighs> anyway, looks like we'll need to prepare something ourselves. All right, we're up, Traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet madame and a radish veggie soup. You'll love them, Hypatia. Mm, sounds good. I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. I certainly look forward to it. Bereite Essen im Lagerfeuer zu. Aber bevor ich das Essen mache, beende ich mal kurz den Part. Na dann, sehen wir uns dann bald wieder hier im Genjin Impact. Hoffentlich hat euch das gefallen und wir sehen uns bald wieder. Macht's gut und ciao, ciao.